Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Nelson, you're watching Nature Now, and if you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. I am bringing you to another home visit. She is walking back there amongst the flowers. I am back to the one and only Mercedes, one of the most incredible orchid collector and master growers that I've ever met in my life. This makes probably my third or fourth visit we did a walkthrough because it's always good to see what she has so that way when i start filming i can focus on some of the better ones that i think you guys would be interested in because there are so many blooms in her yard this february it's already sunny in florida it's nice weather it's breezy it's perfect conditions for spiking and blooming so i'm not going to take too much of this time so without further ado let's go look at some blooms all right folks so we are going to walk through this beautiful little paradise of flowers now i will warn you you're about to witness an explosion of crazy blooms everywhere i wouldn't even know where to start so let's just start right here at this incredible cattleya she was showing me these she actually has a couple of these throughout her yard look at the size of that beauty and the fragrance is just to die for. Look, my whole hand gets hidden in the back. Now, let me see if I can get you, because she's very good about tagging. Uh, and as you guys see right here, she got this at Home Depot. She's a big believer that, uh, here we go. She is a big believer that if you treat them well and you give it proper care, you too can grow a Home Depot orchid this size, which I'm starting to get the, the what do you call it? The fever for orchid collecting at Home Depot. <laughs> I'm gonna try to give some bag babies a chance. This is one of her pride and joy. She loves this orchid. Check it out, guys. She grows her orchids. Almost everything is in um, lava rock and also charcoal. That's her, that's her go-to medium, which is what I've been using a lot. If you guys haven't seen my repotting of Catlias, that's all I use. And I also use sponge rock if I want a little bit of, of moisture in there to hold a little bit of more moisture i'll add a little of the sponge rock inside the mix but look she keeps these as you can see in regular baskets these baskets you can buy at home depot and she puts another screen on it just to hold it even better and fills it with lava rock and also charcoal now these baskets believe it or not she gets them at the dollar tree and she says once they get too rusted and they break, she just takes it out and puts it in a new one. But look, they all do very well. For you yellow bird lovers, it's such a pretty day today. The fragrance here is to die for. Now, she, for you guys have never met Miss Mercedes. English is not her first language, so she always tells me, you go ahead and show the, the flowers and maybe in the end I'll say something. <laughs> so she is a little bit uh, camera shy, but she's so kind to let us cover all these beautiful flowers. Look at this, how gorgeous that is. And what's inspiring about her garden is that she doesn't really have like a big top secret on how to grow orchids she just really is fine-tuned with her plants and knows when they need to be watered like you know you guys want to know like a specific regimen it doesn't exist i if you're looking to have like a schedule where okay i water today i feed tomorrow i don't do that because every day is different for your orchids so you just have to pay attention to the medium if it's too too dry and it's hot outside then you know you need to water it 
Um, by the way, we're looking at a beautiful spectabili here. A, spectac a spectacular spectabili. While right above it, we have a Roy Takunaga. <laughs> Just as wild and, and beautiful as the spectabili. So she tells me that she, <clears throat> she waters during the spring and fall just like I do. Every four to five days. If it rains, no need to water. Um, also, if it gets very cold, you don't want to water either because you could shock your plants. I haven't been watering in the cold mornings. Look at this. I love walking through here and just discovering a flower here and there. Now, wait until you guys look how beautiful that looks over there. Everywhere you look. Do you guys see what she has hanging right there? Look how gorgeous that is. It's a beautiful vanilla flower. She told me she has a whole bunch of them. I guess this is a season growing out from her tree. Now, I gotta go around because I am a tall person, so I gotta squish under here. There's a lot more to show you guys. I'm just trying to strategize how I'm gonna show you and fit everything comfortably in one video. Here's another flower, another vanilla flower. They're so cool looking, huh? And in between, she has fowls just growing randomly throughout. Now, if you guys seen my What's in Bloom, I also have this Schemberkia. Now, this is considered, it's not fully Schemberkia. Catlio Schemberkia, I think it is. This one's called a Marie a Louis Fuchs from RF. And it has an amazing, amazing fragrance. Oh, look, she's showing me this Schemberg here. She says that. Y no tiene ID. No tiene ID? She, it has no ID. Espérate, que se está yendo fuera de foco ahí. Wow, that is beautiful. And it's that one right there. Look at all the spikes. Cuando, esto sale ya para, para abril, ya, mayo. Eh, sí, ella no demora hasta que suba otro poquito. April, May, she says when it rises a little bit higher, the spike, it's gonna be an absolute show. But look at this show. She has this gorgeous Hoya wildly growing. I wanna show you how big this thing is. See? Look at that. And she says that it's growing all around here. Look, you can see right there she has a peduncle ready to burst out in flowers how pretty that is and you guys want to meet her that's her Hi, how are you? <laughs> Cual otra? La vainilla. oh my god look at this it's like la everywhere my i have no ya la vainilla la agarré ah. la del otro lado sí she wanted to show me the vanilla flower. I told her I already saw it. I caught on to that. It's so beautiful. This has spectabili. Esta tiene mezclado en este dendrobium. Me dijeron que es el spectabili. Por eso se le ve la sojita. So this one is a dendrobium hybrid from the spectabili that I just showed you guys. How pretty that is. This la vainilla is... tiene un problema. Y es que ella echa esa pucha que vemos, pero abre de una en una solamente. De una en una. Oh, de una so. En una. So she cae says. El sol, se she says that the vanilla, when the flower comes out, like that flower that's open, once that one closes, then the next one will open. She says as the sun goes down, the flower closes, and then the next day, sí. the other one opens. I did not know that. Sí. Very interesting. And look, she has. Esta se le dice Luciria. Siempre se me olvida el nombre de Ju. Ludicia. This color, yeah. I always call Pero it. Pero aquellas son las que están grandes. No, yo sé. Ahí, para allá voy. Me tienes que dar el. el... 
<laughs> she wants me to go and just show you the the big bang before I show you the big. I go no no I have to work work my way to the big. We, we're gonna give these people a heart attack. <laughs> oh yeah, I love this is the new uh, the one they call the Roy Taganagua here Takunaga pink blush and best pink. This is a a very new one that started uh, being sold a lot in the shows. And the difference is, it has that beautiful blush pink in the petals. So pretty. Chocolate. And this is a chip. chocolate chip. Es un mix. Es un hybrid. Este también es de Roy Tokunaga. Yeah, I think. Sí, es, de, es una, no. Es un, es un mix de, de microchip con la Normando esa que yo le hice. Ok, dicen. so it has a microchip. Porque esta es la que es microchip, que ahora es que está floreciendo. Sí, la mía está súper, súper florecida. Esa florece mucho también. Oh, guys. I'm telling you, being in here is like being in paradise. Now, I know you're wanting to know what she Esta feeds. Esta es la agua sola, primero. Esta. Oh, okay. This is, the, this is the original, she says. The Roy to, Tokunaga original. Look how pretty. Está bien linda. I really like the original. Es un mix. Okay, and this is also another Roy Tokunaga mix. The album. Let's show you how pretty that looks. Este es más bonita porque es más grande. Yeah, that's really pretty. She says she likes this one better because it's prettier because it's bigger. It's a bigger flower. But then look at right above her. Look at this dendrobium, guys. I believe this is a chocolate antler dendrobium. I'm not sure. She tells me that this one doesn't have a tag. I told her it could be a chocolate antler. Look how many. 12 spikes, she said. Y aquí tienes otra. Otro Sherry Abe. Here's another Sherry Abe. And a lot of the ones she has here, guys, if you see repeated, she doesn't rebuy anything. She just takes divisions from her garden. Este, oh, it's a Hawaiian spectacular. Okay, so it's it's similar to the Sherry Abe. It has a spectaboli mixed with a big Alex. So this one's slightly different. Very pretty. And look at these, how cute. I have this one. I know the name of this one. Let me see if she has. Here we go. Fio Calanti kryptonite that's it i was trying to remember what's given to me by my friend lee of lee orchids in hawaii and mine is spiking right now ready to bloom it's a very fragrant flower very pretty it's cousin to the nun's orchid i've heard allegedly oh my god look at this that is absolutely beautiful Very pretty dendrobium. This is my favorite nobly ever. I, that's my favorite one of all the ones. ¿Cómo se llama este? ¿Te acuerdas? El dendrobio oriental. Oriental. Smiley beautiful. Smiley mariposa. beautiful? No, de mariposa. ¿no? Oh, butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> oriental smile fantasy. Okay, oriental smile fantasy. Now this. Esta. ¿Cuál es esa? Esta que viene. Hold on, let me see. Okay, no, el sol no se ve. Ay. Okay, hay mucho reflejo. I'm trying to not get the reflection. <laughs> There we go. Okay, do you guys see that flower? That's gonna be. ¿Cuál es? Esta. Esta. Look at all the spikes she has. Alexandra, Alexandra Contos. Look at that, guys. It's going to be a show. So not only does she have a lot of things in blooms, she has a lot of things in spikes. I think she has more in spike than she has in bloom, and she has a lot of blooms. Now check out. This is the jewel orchid. She wanted me to show you. These are all cuttings from one mother plant that she's grown. She gave me one that's given me just as many 
beautiful um, jewel flowers. Now, for you Rene Marquis fans, look at the masterpiece of this plant. Look how big that is. Look at all the new growth she has in the back. And this one, I'm telling you, this one's probably one of the prettiest ones I've seen out there. It is so big compared to what I've seen in the shows. Never. See, she's a sequential bloomer. So don't ever cut the, the spike after it, it finishes. That's a very good point because I forget about that. After it finishes blooming, leave it alone because she may push another flower out. Look at what a beauty that is. And this is considered an Epicatlia Rene Marquis here. That's the actual name. Tú lo tienes en, en bark, lava rock y charcoal whale. She has, she mixes, she's like me. She mixes a lot of different things. Like you can see she has um, the clay beads that I love, the lava. And she agreed with me. Lava and clay beads is pretty much the same. Right, it's a muy bueno. Yeah, she puts also the styrofoam like I do, see, on the bottom to make drainage. So if you guys look, like I said, my recent potting kind of, sorry guys, I had a call coming in. I just put it on airplane mode so we don't get any more disturbances. All right, let's see. Cual? Oh yes, how can I forget that one? This was one of the ones that really shocked me. Look at this syndrobium, guys. Tell me something about this flower. It is absolutely beautiful. Now they are tiny. Oh, look, it focused. Look at what a beautiful flower that is. En más rojo. She says it gets redder as it as it opens and gets uh, more mature. But look how many flowers she has. And again, she has it in one of those um, Dollar Tree baskets. And let me see if I can get. Ve ver si puedo. <laughs> si puedo llegar al. I'll, I'll tag, because last time I was here, I broke one of her tags and I'm not doing that anymore. Hold on, let me see. She's gonna help me there, perfecto. That's the name, guys. Perfect, because I really like this one. I'm gonna look for this one out there in a... Yeah. See what she just did? She took a dry leaf off. That's what you're supposed to be doing in your yard all the time. Whenever you get a chance, you see a dry leaf in your plant, in your pot, take it out. It doesn't belong there. Esta está preciosa. Look how Pero ya está it vieja. Is. So pretty. I like this wall right y here. Y estas ya traen flores. Mira, esa es la espiga. La. ¿Cómo se llama esto? No, it's an agregatum. No. And by the way, the wood slab she uses, la she buys those on Amazon. Espectabile. Oh, esta también es espectabile. Mm. Well, these woods, she told me she buys them on Amazon. This is what you use cedar wood to cook with fish on it. So that, esto, uh, not on it, but you use it to cook fish or meats. Ya trae el este es el yeah. Yeah. She says this one's about to start blooming. All right, let's go back to the blooms because we love the blooms. Wow, mira esta que grande. <laughs> Here's another jewel orchid. Que linda esta. And the flowers are very tiny, but I do love them. I love that little yellow little spot in the center. I'm telling you, she has them throughout everywhere as you look around. Now here, she keeps a lot of her Vandas in there. Now it's a little difficult to go in there and show you guys everything, but at least you can see the colors, but I could show you the one she has right up here. Look at that beauty. Yo creo que esta es mi favorita. Es preciosa. Yeah, Prominencia this... América. ¿Cómo se llama? Prominence América. Prominence América. Prominence América. She says the name. I told her this is my favorite flower I've seen here so far. Oh, perfect. Hawaiian Prominence America Red. Perfect. What a gorgeous flower. So rich. And then next to it, she told me this one's about to start fading out. But look, pero se ve bella. It still looks beautiful. And this one is a 
People are gonna make a list. <laughs> I know you guys make a list of orchids I show from my collection. I'm sure you're probably taking. Oh, you guys recognize this one? The aristocrat? <laughs> yeah, that's a beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, this Maxima Alba. Gosh, look at that. One time a year, it's a species. It blooms once a year. And this the fragrance here is gorgeous. It's a very clean floral, orchid floral fragrance. So pretty. And look at the size. ¿Esta la compraste en Home Depot? No. No. Esa la compré hace muchos años en un show de eso, no sé quién. Oh, she bought it in one of the international shows. Wow, la gente de Brasil. And this gorgeous beauty, we know this one. La Malada, Noir Blue. This is the one I, I got from, uh, very similar to the one I got in Kroll Smith. They do have these. This is her season. I don't want to hurt you. <laughs> no quiero patear la, la, the white flower. Here you go. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful flower. Espérate, que ya que estoy aquí adentro. I told her I'm already in here. I'm so tall that I don't want to move anything around so I can capture some of these flowers that are in here. Look at how beautiful. Esa banda está. Porque esta es diferente. Oh, Oh, esa. Qué linda. Yo tengo una muy parecida. Será la misma. Es from plantío, ¿no? Ah, sí, plantío la orquídea. Let me see. No, I don't have this one. Very nice. It's gorgeous. Oh, see, yeah, you know me and Phalaenopsis. I'm a, I'm a big fan. I love those freckles. Oh, see, it's a bello. This one, this syndrobium here, I, I bought it at the Redland show. I can't wait for it to bloom. It's really pretty. ¿Cómo se llama ese? Yo no me acuerdo el nombre ahora. Yo lo compré en... Tom Marie and Formosan. There you go. Porque está este de centro amarillo y está aquel de centro rojo. Son okay. diferentes. She says they have them with red and with yellow. This she makes herself. These are poles that she buys a flexible mesh on Amazon and she fills it with cocoa fiber inside and then she puts all her fowls on it and look how beautiful they do and the leaves look very well um, hydrated because fowls do need some sort of moisture so when you hang them free root it like that she was smart enough to fill the inside with cocoa fiber so when they go in there they get their moisture from inside and not get over um, hydration now here she has these beauties. I just got this one. This is how I did my repotting. This is the Dick Smith, what? Dick Smith Paradise. Paradise. <laughs> I just bought this one. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous Catalia. Uh, my friend Melissa has like three of them already. I think this is her, one of her favorite ones. And I now own it and it has such a great fragrance. I was not aware of the fragrance that they carry. And I got it over at Vicky's Orchids. See, de esa. She says she's divided several of them and they all bloom. Esto está preciosísimo. Look at, look at the colors on that. Cranberry and yellow. Now, do you guys want to see the mother of all jewel? <laughs> Esta la más linda. <laughs> this one is so big. Look at this. See, absolutely. When we have cooler weathers here in Florida, Pero our además, flowers do last a lot longer than normal. La floración de o la duración de la catlea depende mucho de la sustancia que tiene la flor. 
Okay. Cuando uno toca la flor como esta, toca. Es un pétalo. Ah, sí, el waxy, gordo. waxy. Cuando ellas son oh, así, yes. ellas, Dura mucho ellas más. duran, son más, más fuertes. Yeah, más when, fuertes. when your flowers are waxy, okay, like here's a perfect example. She says you can touch this one and it has a good density, right? So that flower is probably going to last twice as much La as sustancia. something like this. That's very flimsy. So the thicker and the more denser the flower, the longer it'll last. Now this dendrobium. Esta no tiene ID, pero yo no sé. Este no es el roquefort tampoco. No. No. She says she doesn't have an Porque ID. Porque ese lo tengo yo también por allá y y, y aquel es, es más. How beautiful. Pero es muy hermoso. Ahora toca a los dendrobios estos que son especies. El amenistogloso este que es naranja con el centro rojo que es el Chantabón, este es muy lindo. Ahí so viene. these are all species, she says. These ahí are all species. Amethoglossin. <laughs> I just got this one, guys, at Carl Smith. She says this every year will double in, in blooms. I'm sorry. It's too stuck there, but it is one of those dendrobiums that will, she says it'll bloom over and over again. I did have a viewer tell me the same thing. And she says, wait until you see next year. Oh, look how pretty. Look at that epidendrum, how big it is. I mean, everywhere you look in here, every little corner she's used and every little corner is blooming. Todas las están en Todas, sí. All the phalaenopsis now, this is the season. Let's go here. I, 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 didn't, I didn't look in here in this little area here. These. I'm dying to purchase this. It's such a beautiful, beautiful orchid. I think Terry just bought one exactly like this. And I wanted it. And she got it. <laughs> Here's another beautiful Oncidium. This one is a Cata. Caratante Sun King. La preciosa esa. I gotta make sure I put these in there. Because once you take the tags out, the shape of the of the dirt and the tag and everything has to be redone. More beauties. Están todas, todas están floreciendo. Every single one. I just moved from one to the next to the next. It's just stunning. And you see, guys, this should be inspiration for you guys to do the same thing in your garden, in your balconies, in your homes. I used to grow my orchids inside my home, and I had, I had a good amount. You know, there was a nice amount of orchids, and you can grow them the same way. It's just, you know, sometimes they do get very big, so you have to buy the ones that don't get too massive if you grow them indoors. But Mercedes is someone who doesn't like anything unpractical. She always tells me the way I care for them is in a way that is practical, effective, easy, and inexpensive. And I think that's everybody's desire in growing any plants or orchids. Look at that dendrobium. This is really beautiful. Never seen this. Este está Mercedes. Este dendrobium es una belleza. Este, I've never seen this color. Look at this, guys. Qué lindo. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. Todo el mismo, mira. Todo esa, me encanta, todo eso me encanta el, el, the color combination. Has pink, light, uh, light pink, fuchsia, and yellow. Preciosa. Look how she has it. She has it all on the tree. ¿Qué tipo de mata es esta? De guayaba. Ah, esta, this is a guava tree. Que yo decía, no, la guayaba no sirve porque tú sabes que Sí, este, eso es este, lo que yo este oído. Y, y él me decía, sí, ponlo ahí, porque yo la tuve bajo techo. Te cuida no la palomita. Y no progresó. <laughs> She Esta, has this, this pigeon aquí. here, if you guys seen her other videos, it lives there, this dove actually. So, Mira Nelson, cuando uno ve los simbidium que nos enloquecen, porque una de mis plantas favoritas es el simbidium. Ese es verde, esas son verdes. Roja tengo. Oh, her simbidiums. Eh, She says that she grows them all around her yard Pero very successfully. Pero todas esas plantas que florecen, vamos a decir, de Orlando para arriba, 
a nosotros no nos florece. Tenemos que, tienen que ser las de clima caliente. ¿Dónde está el semberium que te acaba de florecer? Allá al frente, pero aquí tengo el otro She amarillo. She says that when you get no semberiums, lo que pasa que yo lo trasplanté. You want to make sure that you get warm... Um, y, no, y no ha florecido. Warm tolerance. Ya ese puede que brinque... Bueno, yo acabo de hacer un cuento de eso mismo, de, en un video de eso, The Warm Tolerant Semberiums. Uh, in the video at the Wellington, Pam gave a Son talk or, um, or should I say um, no observation of a grower Mira, who created, there it is. Ese es el Mic Emperador, que es el amarillo hermoso del centro ah, rojo. Ah, sí, she says it's a warm ese tolerant. Ese es de clima caliente, ese sí no florece. So if you want to grow your cymbidiums in Miami. El que es el Taylor ese. Uy, qué lindo está este, Dios mío. Es que con, donde quiera que me... Con todas las I'm cosas distracted. que tener mucha paciencia. No podemos apurarnos. Compramos la... Bueno, sin paciencia no puedes tener plantas. Las que está. y las mocaras creyendo que, que van a florecer de inmediato. No, ellas necesitan su adaptación. Yep. Cuando Everything needs a... adaptation. Or, or should I say, um, like her son orchids right here. She has all her son orchids here. She puts them just the same way that I do them with the pots, the the fencing, the chicken wiring fence, and you have to acclimate these. Que es lo que estás diciendo tú de adaptación. Hay que buscar el lugar que a ellas les gusta. You have y to uno find tiene que observar porque observe, ellas hablan. And she says that no plants dicen. talk to you. Yeah, las plantas they do talk to you. I always tell, see, she's saying it, and it's like an echo of what I always say. I always say, listen and observe your plants. They will show you what they like and what they don't like. And when you acclimate them properly, like she has here, look at this, this nobly. This has been, ¿cuánto tiempo ha estado esto aquí? Como tres años. Three years in the making. So you have to have a lot of patience, like she says. Don't mira, accelerate eso fue things. Igual que yo hice un tubo de PVC y mira lo que le puse. No le puse coco ni nada. <laughs> Esto es una tela de, la de, tela. de she sombramiento. Put, she used a shade. She used a shade house screen. Y ahí ella se agarró. With no y, cocoa fiber, cuando, she says it took very well. Y mira qué well. manera de crecer. It's beautiful. Mm. Entonces este y este son diferentes. Está preciosa, preciosa. Este es Centro Amarillo. Está preciosa. Este? I, I move favor. We're going to take a picture of you. <laughs> Quiero tomarte una foto aquí. Come on. <laughs> I put her in the spot. Si quieres, remueve la esposa. Pues está muy linda la foto. De verdad. I told her it looks very pretty. I want to make this the cover. Agarra con una mano y sonríe. It's a beautiful cover. Ay, yo no me sé retratar. Ah, sí. Sonríe. Espérate, let me. She says, I'm so embarrassed. No, but this is beautiful. Because, you know, when I do the home visits, así está bien. When I do the home visits, you know, sometimes I forget to take a nice picture. And this is a, a, a beautiful spot here. You can see este, all the plants in the background. Este es otro color. Y este es el. That's another noble. El anosmum. The que, pastel. Que tú tienes por allá por tu casa, que es el Nefertiti ese. Ah, Nifer's Quest. Sí, ahora es que ella... <laughs> ¿Cómo tú le llamaste? Nefertiti. She, she just turned that, that dendrobium Nifers, Egyptian. Nifers, Nifer's Quest. Nifer, yeah. Eso. Hold on. Ustedes me entienden porque I know, muchos de los I know. que nos ven hablan español. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we Cubans, we are terrible. Yo you know, we... We start laughing at our parents, like when they say something funny in Spanish. Esta es la misma, ¿no? The Smith, uh, Dick Smith. Ah, sí. De aquella vez. She says that's a cutting from it. Nelson. Oh my God. Look at this. I can't, I can't concentrate. No me puedo concentrar. <laughs> Mercedes not going to invite me here anymore. <laughs> I'm not focusing. <laughs> oh yeah. Es que tú sabes que yo, el amarillo y rojo, yo, puede ser la flor más fea que si tiene amarillo y rojo. ¿Cuál es esa? It's gorgeous. Gran I told her the flower could be the gran. ugliest flower in the world if it's red and yellow or cranberry and yellow. Nelson, tú sabes I'm que so esta old. planta es una orquídea. Ah, sí. Sí. Yo traté una vez. Voy a tratar otra vez. ¿Qué? 
No se me murió. ¿Y por qué? Le puse mucha agua. Ah, bueno. I, sí. I, I, I overwatered Esta it. Esta es la orquídea medinilla. Y, Mirianta. Oh my God. It's, que es una orquídea de Malasia. It's, déjame decirte, está grandísima. Uh, <laughs> y si they te take digo forever, que they... la compré por Amazon con dos hojitas. Really? She bought it with two, two leaves on Amazon. And she grew it to the size. Okay, so todo... it's safe to say, my, uh, Mercedes, that you are a true master grower. Tú de verdad eres alguien que crece las plantas. Tú no las compras grandes, sino tú no, las compras pequeñas. No, esa tenía dos hojitas. Two y leaves. la venden todavía porque la vi el otro día. Sí, yo sé. Cross yo to, la tiene. Todo lo que diga orquídea, yo lo compro. Yeah, you got to treat this like an orchid. I treat it like a regular plant. You can't water it too much. You can put it in orchid medium. It'll do well. Sea She has it in orchid sea, medium. And look how beautiful sea. it's doing. Este muy oh hermoso. my God, this bueno. is beautiful. That is gorgeous. Me encanta. Esta viene con flores. Ves que este centro es rojo. Oh yeah, I love Aquel these. Aquel es amarillo. Estas son bien lindas. Sí. Este y cómo crecen. You know, she she has some here that I didn't have any Mira, luck with, and hers mí. are in better grow. <laughs> de hace años. Deberías de darte un cómo se llama un. Me debían de dar un presupuesto. Un presupuesto <laughs> o un patrocinam. Uh, estás patrocinando tú. <laughs> I told her that she's sponsoring them. That they should give her Esta some type linda. of. Uh, Esta es muy bonita. Pero royalty. floreció es reciente. Pero traía ya el botón, por eso oh, es que está abierta, pretty. ¿no? Porque wow. esa es de Water Orchid. Very y nice. esta vamos a enseñarla porque esto no es frecuente que florezca mucho. La colequista, I think. Col, col... La solchis, solchista. Espérate, pues. I was told that you say kilochista parishii. Se pronuncia kilochista. Me lo, me lo corrigieron ahora día. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Look at all siete those, orquídea. Siete those little spikes. She has seven spikes. Mm -hmm. And that's what they call the ghost orchid of Thailand or Thai ghost orchid. And here is the bottom of this vendor location. <laughs> I can't. Oh my God, look how Mira. pretty. Hold on. I'm, I'm as, I, as I walk through here, I find all these beauties. Yo puedo estar sentado aquí todo el día. I could sit here all day and just look at the flowers. Everywhere Mira, you look, este there's one mi, more. Este es mi millón con que tú compraste reciente. Espérate, ¿cuál es? La amarilla con el centro rosado. Oh, that's that big yellow Pero one that la, I got from Pam. Ya esta floreció. Y a ella Says se hers. la compré también hace muchos años en el show ese que... A Pam. De las mariposas. So that comes also from Pam from Fairchild. Years hace ago. Hace tiempo. Espera, déjame salir porque I get nervous in oh, here because... No, son seis pies y dos pulgadas. I told her this. She says, oh, I thought you were going to go through here. I go, not this six feet and two inches. <laughs> I'll, I'll crush everything. So, guys, I think we've covered as much as we can cover. There was a lot to show. I mean, there's more everywhere I look. There's more flowers. But, you know, she has opened her doors. Ven, Mercedes, para cerrar el canal. I want to close it with her. Let me see if I can convince her to close the channel with me because she gets a little bit camera shy but anyway um she's always inviting me back so we're we're gonna see more things in spring and in the summer que estoy diciendo que ya para la primavera es lo que viene ahora primavera y verano uh, cuando más florecen las la plantas entonces hacer otra visita a enseñar la a ver lo que viene <laughs> she always says let me see what comes she knows it's gonna be a lot proceso y una temporada aunque le eche lo que le eche hasta que no le llegue a su momento no van a florecer Exacto. las catrellas que ahora florecieron tenemos que esperar un año para que vuelvan a florecer so whatever no you do to your plants apresurar. you can't force them no matter how many um, fertilizing that you do they're just going to bloom when they're supposed to bloom you fertilize for the strength of the plant And even when you give them the, the blooming uh, fertilizer, it doesn't really mean it's going to force it to bloom. Mm -hmm. They will always bloom at their right timing. And once you have them the way she does, like, I mean, look at this Schimberg. Mm -hmm. Once it's established, yes, the fertilizing could be minimal and it'll give you spikes like that beautiful Oncidium every day. No hay nada que nosotros le podamos echar que diga, 
Right, there's not no magic potion that you're gonna give your plants that's gonna make them bloom at the wrong at the unseasonal, I guess is that you <laughs> All right guys, let's turn this around. All right guys, that is it. That concludes another beautiful visit at Mercedes wonderful Paradise Garden where there's more orchids than I could lay eyes on. This was really a treat. It's always a treat. Thank you, Mercedes, for inviting me. <laughs> <laughs> she, she always sends me photos of what's in bloom, so she's so, so on board with doing the home visits so I can bring it to you guys. So guys, if you guys want to see how she grows her orchids, what kind of fertilizer she uses, the very first, I believe, video, or perhaps second of her home visit, she explains it all. She shows you all her products. We're not gonna go through it every single time we do a home visit because then we lose quality time with the orchids. So, get in seat. She doesn't want to say anything. She said enough. <laughs> she said enough already. We're done. If you want success, dedication, observation, and patience. And where you place them. Oh yeah, that's very important. Light is, light is key. And I always tell you guys, if your orchid's not blooming, move it to a brighter place, maybe it's light. If your orchid leaves are looking dark, stop watering it so much. Notice hers are all green because she knows how to do it. <laughs> so <laughs> let's follow the lead of Mercedes. Until next time, guys, I am Nelson. Mercedes. You've been watching Nature Now, and remember to always, always, <laughs> keep it green. Keep it green. <laughs> keep it green. <laughs> keep it green. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> okay. You've been that keep it green. <laughs> no, okay, no, no.